Hello students, uh, I just wanted to give you a very last minute uh, run through the Redux reactions uh, because I saw in my office hours many students had questions about it. So uh, let me just go through it uh, very quickly. Uh, so, hang on a minute. Okay, so in the reaction number one, uh, we're dealing with copper, solid copper plus uh, nitric acid. And uh, nitric acid is aqueous and you produce copper nitrate, which is also aqueous and also produce nitrogen dioxide gas and water, which is a liquid. And if we go to um, um, if we try the total ionic equation of this reaction, we get that we have copper plus ions plus nitrates, which have a negative uh, charge. And on the other side, you have copper with plus two charge plus two nitrate ions plus, oh, sorry for this, it's only one to gas and NO2, N2O gas and water. And here uh, you can see, uh, first of all, we, we need to write down the oxidation states of the atoms inside each of these ions. So for example, the nitrates ion, which is NO3, and let's write down its charge like this. Uh, the oxygen in this ion has a charge of negative two, and the total charge is minus one. So the charge of oxygen, which is minus two times the number of oxygen atoms, uh, plus the charge of the nitrogen plus times the number of nitrogens. Let me just write a line right here. This. Uh, if we solve for this equation, we get that and the uh, uh, charge of nitrogen is actually, this is negative six, uh, so you get plus five. Uh, so we write, write down that like this. And let's see if that makes sense. So minus two times three is minus six, plus five should give you minus one, which is the formal charge of the ion. Uh, if we do the, the same for the nitrogen dioxide molecule, uh, nitrogen dioxide is, uh, it has a charge of zero. And the, that means that all the added charges should be equal to zero. For oxygen is two minus, same as before, times two oxygens, and only one atom of nitrogen. Uh, so that charge of nitrogen can be solved from this equation. And this gives us that the nitrogen in this uh, compound is equal to plus four. That means that the nitrogen has a charge of four plus in this compound, oxygen minus two. Uh, here is a four plus minus two. It should give you a total of zero. And we can see that the nitrogen in this ion goes from, from a charge of five plus to a charge of four plus. 
or in another way of saying it, it's changing its oxidation state from five plus to four plus. Uh, and the other hand, copper, which is zero, goes from zero to two plus. So copper is losing uh, electrons. We can write down the half equation for that as uh, copper uh, goes to copper to plus, plus the number of electrons, which are which it's losing, so it's only two electrons. And as it's losing electrons, this is an oxidation. Oxidation. Uh, we can write uh, the the rest of the of the reactants and products for the other half reaction. So it would be protons plus nitrate ions. And they produce uh, nitrates. But in this case, uh, nitrates are expectating because uh, the limiting reagent is copper. Therefore, you will still have unreacted nitrates in solution. So let's not include the nitrate, just the nitrate and dioxide. So it's nitrate and dioxide plus uh, water. And if you take a look at the oxidation states, if you remember here is uh, nitrogen is five plus, oxygen is two plus, which gives us a total of minus one. And in here it was four plus and two, min two minus, which gives us a total of zero. For water, it's two minus for the oxygen and plus for the hydrogen, which is plus times two is two plus, plus two minus, it's equal to zero, so it's now shown. This means that the nitrogen is, oh, okay. Mm. Okay. This means that the nitrogen is um, it's actually gaining electrons. So we should include those electrons in the half reaction as equals to nitrogen dioxide. H2O. And now we can uh, start to balance the mass. So you can see here that in the, pro in the reactants we have one nitrogen and in the products we have one nitrogen. So that's balanced. In the oxygen we have uh, oxygen in the, in the reactants we have three. The products we also have three two here and, and one here. But hydrogens in the reactants we have one, and in the products we have two hydrogens, so there should be two hydrogens here. And now it's balanced, mass balanced. Uh, and if we, uh, this is actually the, um, the reduction, reaction. So if we remember from here, uh, right, right here, this is the oxidation, and this is a reduction. Uh, remember to include your oxidation states or your charges in the in the nitrogens for the half reaction. And another important thing is charge neutrality. So if if two electrons are being lost in the oxidation, two should be gained in the reduction. This means that this reaction is incomplete. Two of these reactions have to occur for one of the oxidation. Two reductions for one oxidation, meaning that you must multiply this by 
bicher. And this gives us four protons plus two nitrate ions plus two electrons equals to two. And O2 gas plus two water molecules. And this is a complete reduction reaction. Now we can couple this together, sorry, couple this together to write down the total equation. Let me just maybe some of this. Uh, it would be copper, solid, solid copper plus four protons. Um, plus two nitrates, plus two electrons, equal, now, in, now the products which are these two, copper ions, plus two electrons, and the products on this one, two, and O2, plus two water molecules. And now we can cancel out the electrons. This one and this one. And as you can see here, we are missing charges because here we have four positive and we have two negative, and here we have only two positive. Uh, therefore, we need nitrates to complete the charge balance. So it would be it will require from this side other two two other uh, nitrates, and in this side two other nitrates. This way, everything is balanced out, and we uh, finish with the complete balanced equation, which is for these two are, are uh, parts of the nitric acid. Actually, um, so it's two plus two, which is four. This one, coupled with these ones, and this is aqueous. And on the other side, we get uh, copper, sulfate, which is also aqueous, plus two molecules of nitrogen dioxide gas, plus two water molecules. And this is the overall equation, balanced overall equation for the redox reaction number one. And we can also, uh, we can also take a look at the fifth reaction. So the fifth reaction, fifth reaction is actually easier because we don't have to uh, do that much uh, work on the balancing. So this is the the reaction. Three and six. Um, Like this. This is like this. Mm -hmm. And uh, here we can see, if you remember, we were sacrificing aluminum to produce copper. And the oxidation state from copper uh, went from two plus to zero. So it was a reduction. And the aluminum went from 
zero to whatever charge we have in this other compound. So this is the oxidation. And this is the reduction. If we separate out the equation into the ionic ions, so the ionic equation, total ionic, we can see that uh, three copper ions plus three sulfate ions. And in this case, sulfate has a charge of two ions plus aluminum, creation state of zero. And we have three three copper atoms plus in here if you remember that sulfates have a charge of two, two minus so if this compound is neutral this means that aluminum must have a three plus charge to balance out this and if we write it down it's like two minus charge of the sulfates times three sulfates plus three plus the charge of the aluminum times the number of aluminum atoms, and this gives us zero, which is a total charge. So that's why aluminum has a three plus charge. And it, it's two, two, three plus, plus three sulfate ions. And you can see these ones are expectating ions. Therefore, uh, we can just write down the half equations that reduction and oxidation for these two processes. Let's go first for the reduction. So copper to plus has to gain two electrons to form one atom of metallic copper. And aluminum has to lose three electrons to go to a plus three charge or oxidation state, like so. And you can see that the charge is not uh, balanced because here you have to uh, gain three ele two electrons, and here you have to lose three electrons. So in order to balance out the charges, for the electrons, we need to multiply this one times three and this one times two. And if we do so, we get the number of total um, electrons, which is six. And aluminum is two, aluminum zero goes to two, aluminum three plus, plus six electrons. And we can now add everything up. So we, we will have um, two aluminum atoms plus three copper ions plus six electrons go to form three copper atoms plus two aluminum ions plus six electrons and electrons cancel out. We also need counter ions because uh, if you remember the sulfates were expectating ions. So we can include them here. Uh, in this case, copper has a charge of two plus, so we need three of these ones to cancel out the charges. And here aluminum has a charge of plus three, therefore we need also three to cancel out the charges. And therefore the complete balance equation is, uh, this one is solid. This is three copper sulfate aqueous. And you recover 
three atoms copper plus uh, one aluminum sulfate, which is a and this is the overall balanced equation for the reaction number five. And that's it.